seven brothers bold and strong, searching for seven brides, loving each other and living with pride, trying to make a stand. In the mother of California with its mountains tall and grand, seven brothers bold and strong, living in the promised land, working hard every day in the blazing sun. On the open land, dreaming visions at night of the life they plan. Seven brothers, bold and strong, living in the promised land. Seven brides for seven brothers. Sponsored by Post Raisin Bran, a delicious combination of crispy bran flakes and plump, fresh-tasting raisins in every spoonful. Post Raisin Bran, the fruit and cereal lover's cereal. Cleo. Funny, if he wants to ask Cleo, he will. Oh, come on. No, he won't. Now I've got a little encouragement. Well, let Cleo encourage him. It's her problem, not yours. Come on. Your brothers are my family, too. I don't like Ford growing up shy. Hey, when I was 16, I didn't need encouragement. I'd say I turned out pretty healthy, wouldn't you, Mrs. McFadden? <laughs> Children, Heel please. King. Come on, please. Uh, uh, uh. See who play. Must be French bread. Oh, oh, yeah. Trying to understand why this kid's got to learn French in the first place. Nobody, but nobody speaks French. You can't. Which happens to be the second language to English in most places. I mean, you know, the world doesn't end at the McFadden property line. There's lots of experiences out there just waiting for all of you. Well, that sounds exciting and a real exciting. I'm gonna see you together. Hey, Jill. <laughs> what gives? Is some national holiday? Yeah, brace yourself. Cooper Johnson's here. Oh, yeah. He rode in with Bronco Bill. <laughs> I'm serious. You're talking about Cooper Johnson, national rodeo champion, three years straight. Yeah. Oh, come on, Jill. <laughs> now apologize for calling me a liar. It's him. What's he doing here? Larry's got him to teach class. Teach class? Cooper Johnson? You know what I can learn from him? Well, he's got the Tommy that... Did you see him in the state championship? Jill, I was there, fourth row. He's the best. I mean, he stuck to that drama like it was flypaper. <laughs> well, you won't believe oh, some... You gotta try out first. Try out? You don't think Cooper Johnson's gonna take any Tom, Dick, or Harriet in the school, do you? He's gonna take the best of the bunch. Well, I gotta get in. Well, then you gotta try out. Good Lord got a day off. Yeah, but the good Lord wasn't working for me. <laughs> um, hey, Ford, Crane's going in town to run some errands. Why don't you ride in with him? What for? Uh, I don't know. For fun. A and would you stop at the feed store and get some more chicken feed? Uh, Daniel got feed last week. Well, maybe we need some more. Nope. We're set. Uh, Ford. 
Now, I know Adam wanted something from the feed store. Well, Crane can get it. Ford. Come here. Doesn't Cleo work at the feed store on Saturdays? Now, I'm sure she'd much rather see you than Crane. Have you asked her yet? Asked her what? To the dance on Monday night. Come on, Crane's leaving in 10 minutes. Come on. Well, 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 oh, come do on. The only thing you have to Why do is go there... change your clothes. You can't go issue an invitation smelling like the inside of an old barn. Go on. And now where does he think he's going? Ask Cleo for a date. I told Adam all Ford needed was a little push. Well, seeing as how you gave Ford the push, maybe you wouldn't mind giving me a little something. Sure, what's that? A hand. Ford was just about to muck out the stable. Josh a chance. Come on! Get your feet up over his shoulder, boy. Come on, Josh! You're doing great. You got the hands of a blacksmith. Who's your timing? Why does he leave Josh alone? He's only making him nervous. Hey, look, boy. There's only one person supposed to be talking out here, and that's me. You think you know so much you don't have to listen to anybody else? You want to talk to somebody? Here's a dime. Go phone your mama. You got no call to say that. Yet? I'm thinking about it. Gonna give uh, Cleo a tumble? Cleo? <laughs> I'm taking Julie Schultz because that girl is swift. She sure is a good looker. Ford, look, do I have to spell it out for you? <laughs> he thinks Julie's gonna go into Thomas's barn with him. That old barn? Yeah, all the girls go for a walk between dances. If you don't try to make out, they think something's wrong with you. Hey, haven't you ever been to the old barn, my friend? Sure. With Cleo? No. Um, I don't remember who. <laughs> he doesn't remember. <laughs> well, listen. If you can get Cleo into the old barn, we will pin a medal on you. Yeah, the Purple Heart. Let's drop it. Can I help anybody? See you later, McFadden. Are you buying more feed? Yeah. Do you want to eat it here or take it out? A big pardon? That was a joke for it. Oh, right. <laughs> chicken? Me? Are you buying chicken feed? Oh, yeah. Uh, your brother Daniel, his band's playing at the dance Monday night. Uh, yes, it is, I think, yeah. I like a good band, a really good band. Then if the person doesn't want to dance, they can just listen. I think your brother's band's like that. Good enough to just listen to, don't you think? That's plenty. Thanks. That's barely even three pounds. Well, actually, I didn't come here to buy chicken feet. You didn't? No, I came for something else. Name it. What I really wanted was... Two-penny nails. That's what I need. Nails? Yeah. This isn't a hardware store. Uh, right. You're right, it isn't. Uh, I must have come in here by mistake or something. Listen, I'm, I'm really sorry. You're not the only one.
You've been keeping me in suspense since you got back. How about it? How about what? Oh, I was just wondering if you had a good time in town today. Uh-huh. Cleo at the feed store? Yeah. <laughs> Bored McFadden, it's like pulling teeth trying to get anything out of you. Oh, you didn't talk to her, did you? Sure I did. Well, why didn't you say so? I could have had the sewing machine out of the attic and your new shirt half finished by now. I don't need a new shirt. Well, you're not going dancing in one of those old patch jobs. Do you have a favorite color? I don't have a favorite color. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Leave it all to me. I'm real proud of you. Truck. Is it about time you got over those tryouts? I'm not trying out. You're what? You're passing up a chance to work with Cooper Johnson? You out of your head? I might not even get in the class. Yeah, well, you can bet your butt you won't if you don't even try. Cut. Just have to keep me. I thought you were serious about this rodeo business. I am. It's just that Johnson's not exactly what I expected. What, a little tougher than you thought? Oh, no, he's not tough. He's plain mean. Well, nobody's asking you to love him. You're supposed to learn from him. Thank you. Hi. What time are those tryouts? Three o'clock. All right, let's go. Three o'clock tomorrow. All right, then get back on this barrel. All right, go. Get yourself centered now. Get yourself rich. All right, Guthrie, you ready? Yeah. All right, Run, you ready? Go! Come on! 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 You get a new shirt for it? It's the occasion. Man, I gotta talk to you. Did you ask Cleo what she's wearing to the dance? Now, I, I don't want this shirt to clash with what she's wearing, you know. You are taking Cleo to the dance? No, listen. And you're gonna have a wonderful time. <laughs> Ford, looks like you're gonna need some advice on women from your older brothers. <laughs> well, I mean, he's right. I mean, women do expect certain things from men. Oh, they sure do. Look, just be gentle and kind with her. Gentle and kind. Trust me, it'll work every time. Works every time. Gentle and kind. Works every time. Just pet her, then let her. Make up her mind To sweetness A lady is always inclined Speak softly and be gentle and kind Keep a short rein on a woman if you can right. Try to keep her blinders on and Keep her locked up when you're gone And when she gets contrary Use your spurs, of course, of course. You gotta treat a woman like a horse. If you want a divorce. Gentle and kind works every time. Don't crush her or rush her. Just let her unwind. Treat her with tenderness and you will fall. To be gentle and kind Give them just enough rope So they can reach the fence 
shoe them when they're going lame. Yeah. Sugar always makes them tame. And never hesitate to use a little force. Mm. You gotta treat a woman like a horse. If you wanna be coarse. Gentle and kind works every time. Just pet her, then let her make up her mind. To sweetness, a lady is always inclined. Speak softly and be gentle and kind. <laughs> Okay? Yeah, I'm all right. Didn't eat much dinner tonight. I wasn't hungry. Listen, you sure you feel up to that dance tomorrow? I told you I was all right. Besides, Hannah's making me a new shirt. Never mind about Hannah. It's you I'm worried about. Listen, no one has to worry about me. Come. We wanted to watch you try out. Come on, we're here for moral support. I'm gonna do all right. Hey, don't want that uh, Johnson pedal rally, all right? Don't worry, I won't. McFadden, see you later. Get him, little brother. We're running for you. Okay, Jensen. Wait a minute, I'm here. You're late, you forfeit. I was right here. Why didn't you answer when I called your name? Look, you're one second late getting the candle, you lose control of the horse. That's what one second late means. All right, get in there. Let's see what you can do. Hey! Come on, man. Come on, brother. Go, buddy. Let's go. Show them how I'm a cat. I'm all right. Well, what do you expect when you're yelling at him all Brian? Brian? No, damn it, you were picking on him and you know it. He's just a kid. Look, a Bronx doesn't ask how old you are. He'll kick the tire on anybody. Now, any kid who can't concentrate doesn't belong on the circuit. All right, all right. I can't blame you for trying to make him a better rider. It's just that you didn't have to go and do what you did to Evan there. Look, I don't have time to horse around with any kid who won't give me 110%. Hey, Evan will. You just got to give him half a chance. I just did, mister, and I'll give him the other half if he's man enough. You know, a few seconds ago, I was going to try you on for size. Well, it's a free country, son. But I'll tell you one thing. If you're planning on tanging with me, you better bring a lunch. Because it's just liable to be an all-day job. Come on, guys. Let's move. I think I know where Cooper Johnson's coming from. In the time. In the place. Honey, all I'm saying is... All I'm saying about Ford is, honey, you can't push the kids. But you can. Well, I don't. Come on, what do you call forcing Evan back to those tryouts? I call it a little different. The only difference is you were doing the pushing instead of me. No, it isn't. All I did was try to give Ford a little encouragement, and you're accusing me of hurting him. Doggone it, Hannah. I'm not accusing you of anything. It's just... Maybe you're trying too hard. Well, if I don't try hard, this family is never going to change. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
Now, who says it needs changing in the first place? Oh, come on, Adam. When I first came here, when the you house first came was a here, mess When you first came were... here, we were not a bunch of uncivilized yahoos waiting for some missionary lady to show up and teach us French. A yahoo is exactly what you're behaving like right now. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Well, then maybe you wouldn't miss me if I found another place to sleep tonight. You're right. I wouldn't. Go sleep in a tree for all I care. Back bothering you, Adam? The back's just fine. Then how come you're sleeping on the floor? Go to bed. I am in bed. I bet old Adam wishes he were. <laughs> if I wanted to sleep in my own bed, I would. Nobody's kicked me out, if that's what you're thinking. No, I wasn't. I can go back up there any time I want. I'm sure you could. <laughs> I could. I know. <laughs> Sweet dreams. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Oh, <dear. laughs> Anna. Man, this is dumb. Come on. Unlock the door. Anna, can you hear me? Come on, open the door. date for the dance. Ford, I don't. You don't? No. Neither do I. Ford, the bus is coming. Well, maybe you and I could go. I'd love to go with you. You would? Pick me up at seven. Seven. You did it. Yeah, I did it. She's crazy about it. All you gotta do is get her into the barn, get mad, it's make out time. Just like me and Julie. I don't know about that. Are you kidding? I can tell just looking at her. Hey, you're wrong. She's not that kind. I don't want to hear that kind of talk. How are you feeling? Well, I got my dancing boots on, don't I? That up, boy. That's the spirit. Now, if you just put your riding boots back on tomorrow and go show Cooper Johnson... I don't need to show him nothing, Adam. He can keep his rodeo school. Hey! Now, are you honestly trying to tell me that's what a McFadden does when a horse or a Cooper Johnson knocks him on his butt? Sick. 
I just don't feel very good, that's all. Well, you want me to call Dr. Mead? Well, maybe if I just stay in bed, I'll feel better. Oh, I think we ought to take you to the clinic. The clinic? Uh, I'm really okay, honest. I feel fine. Uh -huh. You all right? I think you ought to get up and take your bath. That way you won't be late for Clea. Come on. I don't understand you. I really don't. It's just last minute jitters. Well, if going to a dance with Cleo is going to give him the jitters, why not just let him back out of it? Adam, I know what I'm doing. Are you sure? I'm not getting into this again with you. I'm really not. Excuse me. Hey, how's school? It's fine. She still on the prod? No problem. Well, see you at the dance. I don't think so. What happened to that old charm? with Julie after the next dance. Have you and Cleo been out to the barn yet? No, not yet. Well, just tell her he needs some fresh air. Convince her it's hot in here. She already told me it was hot. But what are you waiting for? Can't you take a hint? Oh, are you too chicken? Thank you. I wish they put some ice in that French bowl. Do you want some? No, thanks. Maybe we ought to, uh, maybe we ought to dance one more dance. Okay. Then maybe we could, um... What? Well, if you want to. Hey, Ford! You dance like your feet are going to the ground. Shake a leg! <laughs>
it is getting cold. It's really warm in here. Uh, maybe if you want, we could uh, go outside to see if it was cooler. If she wants you. Sure, why not? to apologize. Oh, Adam, I didn't sleep at all last night. Let's never fight again, oh, huh? Oh, honey. Ever. Yes. Oh, honey, it was my fault. Oh, no, I'm I said sorry. some awful things. Well, I'm the one who ran out on, on you. And, you and, and I've got this terrible no, temper. You're going to have to put up with that. I'm, was, I'm stubborn. I was the one who was being... What do you say we always make up before we go to bed? That front porch doesn't make much of a mattress. I'm sorry, Adam. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot cooler out here. Uh-huh. Wonder why they don't tear it down. You mean Thomas's barn? Nothing left in there anymore, is there? I don't know. I've never been inside. Have you? For well, sure. Oh. Well, is there? What? Anything inside. I really don't remember. But, uh, we could, uh, go inside and look if you want. Lots of times. A few, I guess. Dance? No, no, wait, wait. I think I hear somebody crying. <laughs> Clear. 
Theo. Hey, what's the matter? No, we went to the barn. What's the barn? Local lovers' lane. Honey, where's Ford? No. Cleo, what happened? He ran off. I couldn't stop him. He must have done something wrong. Ford must just think I'm terrible. Oh, Cleo, honey, don't cry. We'll take you home. Here we go. Listen. Nothing happened. You didn't do anything wrong. Final 40 probably thinks he did something wrong. Room. Nope. You know, I'll bet she's still back at that dance hall someplace. Crane's probably found him already. They'll be walking through that door any minute. Adam, this whole thing is my fault. No, it isn't. No, you were right. You were. I was pushing Ford too hard. If anything happens to him, I'm gonna fight. Nothing like... is going to happen, honey. I was so busy trying to prove what a great parent I was. Wait a minute. I was... Listen to me. Listen. There is no such thing as a parent who hasn't made a mistake once in a while. Yeah, but I wasn't thinking about Ford. I was just thinking about myself. Okay, I'll go back and check things out. I'm coming to. No, nope, you stay right here. Will you call me? I sure will. for you. Just feeding Sam. You're just feeding Sam. I'm sorry, Ford. I had no right to jump all over you. How'd you get home from the dance? I got a ride with old Mr. Elbridge. You know what happened, don't you? Don't be. I'm proud of you. I thought you wanted me to act grown up. Ford, I was so busy trying to help you grow up. I didn't see that you were way ahead of me. I ran out of the barn like a little kid. You did what was right for you. Not what other people told you was right. It's about the most grown up thing a person can do. You're not ashamed of me? Oh, no. More like I'm ashamed of myself. I've got a lot to learn about being a parent, Ford. Think you'll give me another chance? <laughs> what am I supposed to do with Here. this? I'm Evan I'm Fadden. I never forget a foul. I want a second chance. Circus not about second chances, son. You don't go crashing into the barrier and then look around and say, I'm sorry I broke my ribs, I want to try it again. 
Yeah, well, this isn't a circuit yet. This is a school. But I kind of thought that's what learning was all about. Trying again. Got a new horse here. What do you think? Looks good. Good enough to ride? You're saying I should ride him? I'm not saying anything, son. You're the man who came up here talking about a second chance. like the older guys, you know, and, and it hurt your feelings. Ford, please. Listen. I lied to you last night. I've never been to Thomas's barn. Not with anyone? With anyone. And you were just as scared as I was. You were scared? I figured if I said no, you'd never ask me on a date again. You figured wrong about that. And about the part that I don't like you. Does that mean you do? We've got a new calf up at our place. Well, her mother's been real sick and doesn't give enough milk, so I've been bottle feeding him. Maybe, uh, you want to come see him sometime? I'm not doing anything right now. Oh, 
Andy. I'm sorry. I didn't know we were working you so hard. Maybe you'd like to go back to working at Marie's. Oh, <laughs> About. I made it! I and caught what? in! In what? <laughs> Cooper's class! You I made it! I went through that! <laughs> Try out! Hey, I went back! I tried again! Thanks to you! Hey! Me? Ooh, yeah! Ooh, ooh. Well, you asked me what a McFadden would do. And by the time that dance was over, I knew. I mean, if you thought I could make it, I could. <laughs> so I went back. <laughs> you made it! Yeah. Yeah. So great! <laughs> supposed to give them a push. Yeah, but how are we supposed to know which times those are? I don't know. Maybe we'll figure it out before they're all grown. But I doubt it.